Today I'm going to show you how to plug in your European 2-pin plug into a 3-pin uh, UK or Ireland uh, socket. Now as you see, it doesn't, it doesn't fit. You cannot plug the 2-pin into a 3-pin because if you look inside here, there are small trap doors that won't open. Now, to overcome that, if you get a three pin plug, which you're more than likely gonna have, you put that in upside down, and you can see the trap doors open. It's closed, as that plug goes in, it opens. So what you need to do is, you have your three pin plug, you put that in upside down, that opens the trap doors to allow you to plug in and then remove this. And there you have plugged in, you have your power. Now obviously another option that you have is to buy an adapter that will allow you to plug in And then that gives a three pin, which will obviously plug in there. It's up to you what you decide to do. I'm just showing you the options. You should never plug this directly into a socket on the wall. Always use your uh, extension lead here because there's a 13 amp fuse built into this. A socket on the wall can be 32 amps uh, circuit. And these plugs are generally only about 16 up to 20 amps so you can overload the plug now that's perfect for this plug however in the eu they've decided not just to have one type of plug they have this shroko style plug that this will not work as you can see it the pins are closer together and it's not safe to use this round uh, plug in the tree pin don't do that you will have to get an adapter like this one. As you can see, plugs in, makes a good solid connection. There's no movement on that. And it, it has a fuse, a 13 amp fuse built into the plug, which makes it a good, very good option. Well, basically your only option in this case. So if you want to pick yourself up one of these, you can find a link in the description below. Now, a lot of people who have the three pin plug and go on holidays will need to buy themselves one of these which will allow them to plug in to a two pin plug so one option instead of buying one of these for each individual device you want to power you simply plug that in you bring your extension lead with you and now you've got four sockets running off one which is fused 